Well, Mama, once again, congratulations for making it into the DE, DE lab, Development Entrepreneurship Lab. What was your experience? Oh, you on <laughs> You muted your mic. Yes, come again. Yes, uh, maybe I should introduce myself. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, please go ahead. Yes, I'm Wesim Jatu, co-founder of Umozi Green Collect. Uh -huh. Umozi Green Collect is a social enterprise. We are in the waste management. Okay. So when I saw the advert sometime back, I was just trying anyway to apply because of, I think I've done, I've applied so many. So I just wanted to see what is this all about anyway. Yeah. So I came in so blank because I was not very sure what are the, the details of what we'll be going through. Yeah. I didn't realize that it will have so much impact on me and mm -hmm. even on our organization. Wow. As you've heard, we are in waste management, we make briquettes, uh, we make compost manure, and we also make organic fertilizer. And now we are also on a pilot project whereby we are trying to do the test to recycle the papers, the plastic papers, into wow. pavement blocks. Okay. Of course, we are not yet, but we are working on that one. So when I came into the lab, I came so blank, I didn't know that I'll get so much uh, knowledge than what I had expected. So um, right from day one, mm -hmm. it was so motivating because yeah. it actually gave me things that I needed to do. And wow. actually the exercise that we were, we were given, I think they are the ones that motivated me much because wow. I think men are the workshop that we get into, but usually you come out, we said that ah, this is another workshop, but yeah. deal up, it was a different one because you come out of the, the training on Tuesday, yeah. you have work to do, and you don't just do it. So yeah. the practical part of it, whereby you were giving us the assignments to work on them, mm -hmm. made the things that we had learned to sink more in us. Wow. And actually it gave, it gave us more knowledge in terms of how we needed to look at things at a different perspective. Wow. A, a good example is whereby you look at the challenges. Most of the times we have we dwell much on challenges. We don't yeah. realize that behind the challenges there are opportunities. Mm. And people have, have maybe have wound up their business because they said, I had this challenge. But yeah. for DILAP, we were challenged to look at the challenges as opportunities. Mm. And those opportunities we needed to sit down and find solutions to, the, to those opportunities. Mm. And actually it went right ahead uh, to give us how we can, we can, we can deal with the, the, the opportunities, the challenges that we've seen yeah. in, in, in a cheaper way. For example, I think most of the times we've relied so much on electricity by ESCOM. Mm. Now the, the coming in of the renewable energy, for me, I said, wow, it was great. Because I think most businesses have been struggling because they said, oh, I had no power, so I couldn't. Yeah do my things. But yeah. now we are given an alternative. And actually after going out of the deal up, I've already started contacting some people and I want to start a pilot project whereby I've told one of one one guy where I managed to get on renewable energy to turn my petri tin into a biodigester. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so this guy I've asked him please give me the quotation. I want my petri tin to be a biodigester. And actually I'm saying Wow, I wish I knew these things way back because the, the septic tanks that we have at our home, yeah. I wish those could have digest us. Wow. wow. So you look That's at that true. and I was saying, I wish I could be given a platform somewhere. But anyway, in my own, at my own level, I think we need to start motivating people that we yeah. should stop using septic tanks. Because mm -hmm. we have we have we have spoiled the underground waters is polluted yeah. because of the septic tanks. Why okay. can't we turn our septic tanks into biodigesters? Wow, wow! That's what I'm saying. I was Nothing telling my finished. son, my dear, my my dear, my my son is constructing his house. I say, my dear, the first biodigester for fresh toilet is going to be your house. Wow. 
<laughs> you you wow. can see I'm actually charged. I can I'm see charged. that. I can see that. Yes, I'm so much charged. And all this is because of the dealer. Wow. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, awesome. Well, this is going to be just a, a, a brief chat. But before you leave, uh, let me ask you, what about the business side? There are some concepts that we are introduced to you. Marketing, finance modeling, think pitching. Yes, what about that side? Those things have also empowered me. Uh, mm -hmm. For your information, I participated in the seed pitch two years ago. Yeah. I might need to go up to the top 10 for Malawi. Yeah. But now, when you introduce in terms of the pitching, the whole from looking at your a business idea, yeah. looking at the opportunities, yeah. all that laid down information, I can yeah. actually see, I said, ah, if they see, if I apply. Yeah. 